What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Barbecue and Bottles. Today we're going to be doing cold smoke Atlantic salmon. So we've got this beautiful piece of sashimi grade salmon. We went to our fishmonger, picked it out. One key thing when you're picking out fish from the fishmonger is make sure you smell it. We don't have any fishy smell to this side of salmon. It's absolutely perfect. That's a great sense. If you smell fish and it smells fishy, you know it's been hanging around a little bit too long. So always give your fish a good sniff before you buy it. Now that we've got this mixed up, we're just gonna lightly sprinkle that on some saran wrap that we've got laid out here. And this is gonna form the base and we're gonna put the salmon on top. So as you're laying this out, Try to get it to roughly match the shape of your fish. Now we're just gonna take this, put that down right on top. Now we're gonna put the rest of our salt and sugar all over the top. So now that we've got this set up, both the salt and the sugar are gonna act as preservatives here. Now we're gonna wrap the fish so just take your cellophane, go like this. Make sure you get it nice and tight. So slide it in there, make sure it's nice and flat. It's really important to have that on a cookie sheet. That's gonna release all the salt and the, the sugar is gonna release a whole bunch of juices out of that salmon. That's what we're doing. We're trying to pull moisture out of the fish. So you want it on a cookie sheet so you don't make a mess of your fridge. So after 24 hours, you'll see we've got a ton of liquids that have come out of this side of salmon. That salt and sugar has really pulled that moisture out, which is exactly what we're looking for. You can even feel the firmness of the fish. It's definitely started to tighten up relative to when we bought this from the fishmonger. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna take this over to the sink, get it out of the cellophane, rinse off the salt and sugar, and we're gonna have to put this on a drying rack or a cooling rack and get it back in the fridge for another hour but this is exactly what we're looking for. Just look how much juice and moisture's come out of this salmon. All right, we're just gonna take the salmon out of the cellophane here. Look at that beauty. Push that over, just rinse this off. So we've got the salmon rinsed off here. We've got it onto a cooling rack and now we're just gonna pat it dry. You wanna get all of the moisture off of the salmon and you wanna pat it dry both on the top side and the skin side. Now that we've got the salmon dried down and on the cooling rack, we're gonna put this in the fridge for another hour. All right, we've got this fish out. It's been sitting in the fridge for another hour. And when you touch it, you can really feel this sticky film that's emerged. And that's what we want. As we start to cold smoke this, the smoke's gonna to adhere to that sticky film and just make sure we get that really rich, smoky flavor through the cold smoke. So we're gonna be doing the cold smoke out here on our pellet grill. As you'll see, we've got the racks taken out, we've got the drip tray removed, and we're gonna be using this guy here. We're gonna fill this up with a little bit of sawdust. Now you can get sawdust from Weber or other uh, manufacturers have sawdust that you can buy on Amazon. We've just gone to our uh, local lumber yard. They had a bunch of extra sawdust. We took a big bag of it and we're gonna test it out here. So these things, you can find these on Amazon. I'll put a link below, but we're just gonna fill this up with uh, sawdust, put a little tea light just down under this little tray right here and that should provide us 24 hours of smoke and that's how long we want to cold smoke this. We want to do a good 24 hour cold smoke. Let's get this in position. We'll fill it up with some of the sawdust and get this thing lit up. Now that we've got the sawdust in here nice and evenly, you want to make sure 
you don't have any sawdust around these top rings here that might allow that like what what's going to happen here is this is going to burn all the way around like this and if you happen to have a little bit of sawdust that connects one of the rungs to the to the inner rung it's not going to burn properly and you'll get a much shorter smoke so now that we've got that set up we've just got a little tea light here we're just going to light that perfect get that ignited now we're just going to drop that in here now that tea light is going to ignite the sawdust on this side here and start the burning process all around. All right, so we're just going to let the fish rest down there. And the reason we're using our pellet grill here, the smoke's going to come up off of this. It's going to move down this way. The airflow will have the smoke coming out this chimney so we can make sure as the smoke gets generated, it's moving down the whole salmon and we're not just hitting part of the salmon with the smoke. So let's close this down. We'll check back in in 24 hours. All right, so we've had this on for 24 hours. You can see it's gotten this beautiful smoky color to it. So we're just gonna transfer that back to our cooling rack and take this inside and carve it up. So we've got this off the smoker now and just look at that beautiful color. We've got some real nice stiffness and firmness in the smoked salmon. We can smell the hickory that came out of here. Now, what we're gonna wanna do is start with the tail end as we're carving. Now for slicing the salmon, what you wanna do, put your hand on this side, start down at this end, and you wanna, as you're carving in, you wanna be cutting a slice as thin as you possibly can. And you wanna be as you're cutting into this, you want to be keeping a very thin, transparent layer. You should always be seeing your knife as you're carving in. So as you get your groove here on carving up this salmon, you'll be able to get some incredible, really wafer thin pieces of smoked salmon. These just dissolve in your mouth. Incredible flavor incredible salty smokiness. Delicious. So if you're going to be using uh, Tupperware to store your salmon or freeze your salmon, what you're going to want to do is just use sheets of parchment paper then layer, put layers of smoked salmon down on it, toss it in the freezer. Once this is frozen solid, it's gonna look like a bit of lasagna with smoked salmon. But what's great about this, when you, you've got a party or a dinner that you've, you need some smoked salmon for, you can just peel out as many of these parchment paper layers as you need, let that de-thaw, put the rest back in the freezer and it's just really convenient from a storage and a prep perspective. But of course, what we're gonna have to do is the taste test. So let's cut ourselves a really nice slice right here. And give this a try. Mmm. We've got the saltiness from the cure, the brine that we did at the start. It's got a really nice, rich flavor, super fresh, not overly smoky. This is really, really good. Really pleased with the outcome here. So guys, if you like this video, give us a like below. Let us know in the comments if you wanna see any other recipes, if you've got any other thoughts on this one. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in.